Hello. In this video we will look at the Vertical Speed Indicator, or VSI for short, and is one of the more useful instruments in the pilot's instrument panel. As is usual, we will only be looking at the basic principles of the instrument, and won't be going into great detail. A Vertical Speed Indicator also known as a rate of climb and descent indicator, is an instrument which indicates the rate of climb or descent of an aircraft. The VSI uses the aircraft's static system to determine the vertical speed, and depicts the result on a conventional needle and circular scale instrument, or on a ribbon at the side of an electronic flight instrument system. Two typical VSI indications are depicted below. The instrument on the left is a conventional instrument, often used on light aircraft. On the instrument on the right, the vertical speed is indicated on the scale at the extreme right of the instrument. This instrument is used on airliners. We will be looking at the basic instrument on the left. In a simple VSI, a barometric capsule is contained in a sealed case. The capsule is fed with static pressure from the static system. The case is also connected to that system through a calibrated nozzle. The nozzle restricts the passage of air, so that there is a time delay between a change in static pressure and the pressure being experienced within the case. Thus, if the aircraft climbs, the pressure within the capsule will decrease, while the pressure within the case will decrease at a lower rate due to the presence of the nozzle. This will make the capsule contract, and through a mechanism, will cause the needle to show a climb. Once the aircraft has leveled off, the pressures equalize, and the gauge reads zero. Conversely, if the aircraft descends, the pressure within the capsule will increase, while the pressure within the case will increase at a lower rate. This will make the capsule expand, and cause the needle to show a descent. As the VSI relies on air leaking in or out of the casing, it requires a second or two for the system to stabilize. That's where trend versus rate comes into play. When you initially start climbing or descending, your VSI needle will start moving, but it can't immediately indicate how fast you're climbing. This is what's called trend information. When you see the needle move up, you know your climb rate is increasing, and when it moves down, you know your climb rate is decreasing. Until it stabilizes, you won't get an accurate figure of the actual rate for a moment. So, the needle indicates trend. After a second or two, the calibrated leak has a chance to catch up and reach equilibrium and your VSI will stabilize at the actual climb or descent rate. When that happens, the needle now indicates rate. In summary, trend gives you an indication that you have started a climb or descent. Rate gives a value of how fast you are climbing or descending once the needle has stabilized. So, to sum up, we discussed how the VSI works, and how it indicates trends and rates of climbs and descents. Your VSI tells you if you are climbing, descending, or in level flight, and it does it by giving you trend and rate information. And most impressively, it does it without any power, except for the changing pressure of the air around your aircraft.